There we go. <laughs> this uh, enduro loop out here is pretty awesome. And I'm on the KTM 300 2018, six days edition. The 450s definitely take a lot more energy to ride. This feels like a play bike in comparison. I haven't been over here, it looks like a little hill climb. Medium hill climb, maybe. Oh, listen to that 300. Oop, a little rocky up here. Let's see if I can see Nate without going off the edge here. There he is. That Beta 300 is a little weird with uh, hill climbs. Um, almost. <laughs> I know that three that beta runs out of juice and you got to downshift. So that's the one drawback I've experienced riding that beta 300 is uh, it does not have any top end power. It's all low end and mid range, and then it completely runs out of power on top because it doesn't have a power valve. Um, it's meant to be a easy to ride trail bike, and it is. It's incredible for. Like my dad's 70 and rides that thing and it's the perfect bike for him. Um, really good bike for a novice. The wives that we ride with aren't really into dirt biking. They want to go along and they want to put around but they don't really get into it and ride aggressive. So it's that type of bike. And so on these hill climbs, what happens is you need that power up top and you got to learn how to ride it differently because all the power is on the bottom. and. Um, so you have to downshift and get back into the meat of the power band at the very bottom. Yeah, this thing has no power in the upper, so you kind of like run out and then yeah. it's like, uh-oh, now what? <laughs> oh, dude, the only gear that was, I think I was trying it in third. Yeah. And it, uh, didn't want it. <laughs> 